Hello, Larry here with Price Software with another edition of Webinar Wednesday. Today is March 17th, 2021. Uh, happy St. Patty's Day to everybody and hope you're having a great day so far. We're really excited today to show you something we've been working on for a while and so many of you have asked for. Uh, this is the Inksoft Price It Software integration. Uh, basically very similar to the Shopify integration. If you're not familiar with that, uh, you can check that out on one of our previous videos in the member section. All right, so what I'm gonna show you now is how that works. Uh, basically here is the uh, interface here, the Price It Software uh, order entry screen. And before I start, I wanna thank uh, Don over at DK Apparel for letting us use his data uh, to make this demo possible and show you guys what's going on. Uh, all the information has been redacted so um, for his privacy and for his customer's privacy. All right, so first off we're gonna do is we're gonna click on the shortcut button here underneath the logo, Price It Software logo. And we're gonna scroll all the way down to the very bottom past Shopify and down to the Inksoft. We're gonna open that. Now, one of the things you wanna do before you start using this, obviously, is to get that set up. There are gonna be some instructions to follow. Uh, I'm not gonna get into that today at this webinar on how to set it up, uh, but there will be some instructions on how to do that and uh, be watching for that. But basically, uh, the setup screen, uh, you just click here on setup, and it's gonna ask for some information here, like your API key, your store URL, company name, yada, yada, et cetera. So, um, and you can also allow access of Inksoft uh, stores in the customer portal. You just simply click this and it actually will allow that customer or that customer's store information to be pulled into the customer portal. So uh, we're gonna go back to orders and I'm gonna show you once this is set up, what you do is you basically come in here and you click on the download new orders button. And here we're gonna get a uh, dialog box that asks for the maximum number of orders to import. 100 more may take up to 30 minutes to import. It's a lot of data to churn through. So we recommend breaking this off in smaller chunks, or if you're gonna do it in a larger chunk, go grab a coffee break or whatever you want. I'm just gonna put in here, I want I want like five orders, I guess. We're just gonna click okay. And it's, begin, it's gonna begin that process of reaching out to the Inksoft and downloading the store orders. And there you have it. There are the uh, new orders that have been downloaded. From here, we can control whether we want to push them over to the order entry screen or not uh, by clicking the red button over here on the right, allow or don't allow. And we can push them to the order entry by clicking here and finishing the import. So this is kind of like the waiting room, if you will, for your store orders so that you can decide whether you want to push them to the order entry screen or not. Uh, this button here, if you click the find and it has been pushed to the order entry, it will find the order. So let's let's go ahead and do that. Let's push over a couple of orders. I'm gonna click that button. It's been pushed to the order entry. And uh, let's see, I can go in here and keep pushing them or again, not allow. So we're not, not allow this one. Uh, and then we go on from there. So there are a few different views from this as well. Um, if we go to status, uh, we're going to click on here. We can see show all, pushed, not pushed, not allowed. And then we can push by date range and download it by date range. We can look at that as well. Um, the company name, um, you could actually uh, come in here and pretty much any store or company that uh, has uh, an Inksoft store with your shop, can uh, you can download their data here by just choosing that particular store. Uh, you may have five, six, 10, 100 customers that are using your Inksoft stores and they can all be stored, they'll all be stored here uh, once that information is put in. So I'm gonna to go to the order entry screen now and show you what that looks like. So now we have this job that was pulled in. Um, and basically, uh, if we go show all, we can come down here. And this is the job that was pulled in by Inksoft and this is their information and we're gonna go from there. So that's pretty much how this works. Very straightforward, very much like the Shopify integration. Um, I do wanna put a note out there that we are still um, an asterisk, if you will. We're still working on the uh, customer portal integration piece 
uh, that I talked about a moment ago when um, uh, we were over here and I was in the setup area. We allow access to via customer portal. That's in the works. Maybe by the time you actually watch this, it will be done, but I want to let you know that if you're going to try to make this happen today, that's not going to happen. Maybe, you never know with Ronnie, um, he may get it done. But just to let you know that it is in, on his radar and it is coming soon. And um, this thing is ready to go. So if you've had some Inksoft stores and uh, you've been wanting to bridge that gap between Inksoft and Priceit, I highly recommend you reach out to us, info at priceitsoftware.com. Say, hey, I want that uh, Inksoft integration. Uh, you can also just give us a quick call, 802-257-5188. Again, I want to thank everybody for coming out every week. It does mean a lot to us for people coming out to this webinar and learning more about Priceit and um, uh, helps keep us on our toes. And um, it's encouraging for us to be able to reach out to you and show you what we've been up to every week. Uh, we try to keep them short because we know everyone's got things to do besides sit here and watch videos. So um, again, thank you for coming out. And I look forward to seeing some of you again next week and the week after that and the week after that. Again, happy St. Patrick's Day and we'll talk to you soon. Have a great day.